Hi, hello, I'm Hannah. Welcome to my channel. Staying outside this morning, drinking a cup of coffee, which is one of my favorite things in the world. Enjoying the summer weather and um, yeah, I just kind of wanted to introduce myself and have a little chit chat with you this morning. Uh, I'm drinking coffee out of my, one of my favorite mugs, which is from Magnolia in Waco, Texas. I uh, went there a few years ago with my mom and it's just such a, such a fun trip. The bugs are out, which is awesome. <laughs> So a couple things about me, um, one is that I love being outside, I love the mountains, I love hiking and camping and trail running, and I also just, I love coffee. My Instagram is running on espresso for a reason. Um, I was used to do a lot of trail running and um, still do some trail running, but I want to kind of get back into the level of doing it I, as I was before. Uh, I was doing a lot of like ultra marathons and like the 50k distance, which is like my favorite. and. Um, so anyway, coffee, running, mountains, I love it. But I also really love um, like all natural living, non-toxic living, um, essential oils. And so so one of the things I kind of want to sit down and like chat with you, I drink my coffee um, and hopefully you have a cup of coffee as well. And I just want to chat about essential oils because they've been kind of, a, have had a huge impact on my life. And I kind of just want to share that with everyone else and kind of go over kind of like some basics and like kind of introduce them, I guess. Um, and let's, it's good for anyone who's beginning or someone who's curious or maybe someone who knows a lot about essential oils and just wants like a refresh but um, basically like my journey with essential oils was that I was looking for a natural way to deal with uh, some of my chronic anxiousness and um, I've dealt with that my whole life and I've done a lot of different things you know to kind of cope with that but um, I was looking for a more natural solution at the time a couple years ago and I had heard about essential oils and I kind of started out by buying them at the grocery store uh, I've tried several different brands over the time and you know they were okay but I didn't find them to be very effective. It wasn't until when I was working at a running store and I was fitting this woman for shoes and at the end of our like shoe fitting session she handed me a small bottle of wild orange and you know I took it home and I kind of experienced it for the first time and there was just something different about it. I felt like it was way more effective and um, really uplifted my mood. She, later on she kind of invited me to a, one of her classes and I mean, I was kind of just hooked ever since. She gave me some oils to try and I felt like it really helped just with all my anxiousness. Yeah, so that's kind of how I got into essential oils. And, and then it's just kind of been this whole like wormhole of like natural living and non-toxic living and it just kind of starts, you start doing, learning more, doing more research and so anyway, it's very cool. But um, so a couple of things, I guess, when it comes to essential oils is that purity matters. So obviously like what's in the bottle matters. Uh, like for example, like this is, these are the oils that I use. I personally love doTERRA oils. Like I said, I've tried lots of different oils over the years, whether it be a grocery store or Young Living or um, just different ones online. And so anyway, I've kind of landed here. And the reason why I love it is because I love the heartbeat of the company, but I also just love the purity of the oils. Um, you know, these oils are high therapeutic grade. Um, and you can actually see the like third party lab test results online to see like what um, is like how your oils pass all these different tests to sh show that like what's in it is actually essential oil. Cool thing too is they're sustainably sourced and they kind of look all over the world to see where like lavender for example would thrive best. So you can grow lavender in your backyard but the chemistry of the plant is a little bit different compared to like where it grows naturally in Bulgaria because like the soil's different, the atmosphere's different, everything's different. So. Um, they kind of look to see where it would thrive naturally the best and have the highest therapeutic value because you want it to impact your health, not just smell good. It's also important they aren't grown with chemicals or pesticides because when you go to distill a bottle of essential oil, you're going to have a concentrated bottle of pesticides, which isn't great either. So a couple of things too, like just safety things that comes to essential oils um, is you never want to put them like in your eyes or like down your ear canal. Um, and if an oil feels really spicy on your skin, like oregano definitely will. <laughs> you put it straight on your skin, it's a little spicy. Um, you'll want to get like a coconut oil or an almond oil or a jojoba oil, some kind of oil to help kind of soothe that. Um, putting water on it is only going to get more intense because water and oil don't mix. And so it's important to use like a coconut oil or something to that regard. Um, well, it's quite the wasp. I don't mind bugs, but I really don't mind bugs, but I don't like them in my face, um, especially wasp. Peppermint in your eye, you want to use coconut oil to help soothe that, because um, that's really intense. And there's three ways to use essential oils. Uh, it's topically is the first one, which is like on your skin, 
Um, you can get some coconut oil and then mix your oil, essential oil with it and you can apply it to any area of concern. Whatever brand you go with, make sure it's you know high quality and pure. Um, we also use them aromatically in the diffuser, which is a really common way. I'm sure most of you maybe have seen that, that people have these like little diffusers. You put the water in through oil and it just kind of makes this like steam come out. It's great for like aromatic um, experience and for emotions or, or for um, like helping respiratory health. I mean, there's all reasons, kinds of reasons that you would diffuse essential oils, but internally is the last way to use oils. But again, purity really matters when it comes to ingesting oils. Make sure you really trust the brand you go with. Um, with the doTERRA oils on the um, label, I don't know if you can see that, but it actually has the like supplement facts label and that's how you know that that oil is okay to ingest because not all oils are obviously, just like you wouldn't eat all the plants in the face of the earth. You don't want to ingest every oil in the face of the earth. Like some are meant just for topical use or just for aromatic use. Um, so it's important to check that out before you ingest an oil. We got safety, we got how to use them. I kind of just want to talk about my like top 10 favorites um, that kind of cover a huge range of issues and that's why I love them. I kind of just start with the first one which will be lemon and um, lemon essential oil. Just one smells so good. Yeah, so good. And um, this one is a really big detox agent so it's great to put a drop in a glass of water or in a stainless steel water bottle like my hydro flask. I love putting a drop of lemon in there because it's great for your digestive health, helping your body detoxify. Um, it's also really great for like male and cuticle health and I also love to use lemon um, for cleaning. It's very um, antibacterial. If you have like a sticky surface with an adhesive or something on it, if you like put a drop of lemon on that surface and then let it sit for a few minutes and come back to wipe it off. It comes off a lot easier or like gum in your hair. Lemon's great for that. Another note is that because it's a citrus oil, all citrus oils are very like emotionally uplifting um, and so that's really important. And the way, by the way, the way that um, smelling an essential oil impacts your emotional well-being is because when you inhale that aroma, it goes obviously through your nose to the olfactory bulb in your brain which is connected to the limbic system and that's why, which is responsible for your emotions, which is why when you smell something, um, it can change your mood. So, lemon's awesome. Another tip about citrus oils, especially in the summer, is that they're very photosensitive. So if you not, it doesn't happen to everyone, but if you put some on your skin and go out in the sun, it's possible you could get a sunburn a little bit easier. So just be aware of that in the summer or if you're going outside in the sun. Lavender, which lavender again is a classic oil. Um, a lot of you probably are familiar with it. Um, it's a very calming oil, very soothing. This one for me was one of the big um, oils that kind of got me into it because of how calming it is. But it's also great, oh yeah, it's also great for um, like sleep. If you have a hard time falling asleep at night, you can put this in the diffuser or on the bottoms of your feet before bed. Skin issues, bumps, bruises, scrapes, uh, lavender is awesome for that. Um, Let's see what else. If you get um, like kind of a, a burn when you're uh, cooking, you can put lavender on that. I, I don't know how you explain it, kind of soft oil. So when you put your skin, it, um, it isn't intense or anything. You can actually apply it directly uh, without coconut oil if you choose. Um, but yeah, so lavender is great for applying to a burn. It's good for any itching, like bug bites and stuff. It really soothes that. So it's soothing not only emotionally, but soothing to the skin as well. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. Then we have um, peppermint, which is another of like the, I would say, three pillar oils. Um, peppermint is a very energizing oil, so if you diffuse it or put a drop in your hands, rub your hands together and inhale that aroma, it will give you a big energy boost. Um, you can even put it in the back of your neck after. It's also great for any um, head discomfort. It's good to put peppermint on your temples, the back of your neck for that, to cool down in the summer. Um, when you're outside, you put like a little spray bottle of water and peppermint. That's really cooling when you're outside in the summer day. Good for digestive um, issues or just digestive health. So if you're experiencing some stomach um, discomfort, uh, I would say peppermint would be a good go-to to put in a glass of water. Or if you have the little clear vegetable capsules um, from doTERRA, you can put a drop of peppermint in there and that'll help with your digestive system. And lastly, it's great for um, you know when you're on the plane or in the car and you're feeling a little um, not great because of all the motion, uh, peppermint is also great for that. It's, so that's peppermint. 
Um, next we have tea tree oil or Melaleuca, depending on what you know it by. Melaleuca is the like scientific name for it. Um, but tea tree oil is kind of the big one for skin issues. It's very cleansing, very um, antibacterial, and so you know people use it a lot on their on their face or on like uh, acne scars or um, any skin issue really. This is kind of a good go-to. You can also clean with it. It'd be great to put a cleaner if, if you're okay with the scent as well. Oregano. Oregano has been a staple in my house for the last, I mean, definitely the last two years, but even just in general, because anytime you're feeling a little under the weather, oregano is your go-to to, to um, take internally. Now, again, this is the one that's really spicy, so I would put it in a veggie capsule and with like one or two drops max, depending on how your tolerance is. Um, and I would take that internally because oregano is so antiviral. Oregano oil is kind of your go-to to help feel better faster. Um, but um, oregano is going to be your go-to when you're feeling under the weather. Take it in a veggie cap or um, you can diffuse it in a diffuser. You can put a couple drops of On Guard, which I'll talk about in a minute, and that's our immune system blend. Pair it with the oregano and you've got a really good immune boosting, supporting blend in your diffuser. Or you can do that in a veggie cap as well. So it just kind of depends if you want to go internally or a roller bottle too. And you could roll it on the back of your neck or roll it um, just kind of over your neck or something to support your immune system. Oregano is great for that. Uh, which leads us into On Guard. You just heard me mention that. This to me smells like Christmas in a bottle because it's like clove and cinnamon, um, orange. And so this is going to be your protective blend. Great for immune support, um, immune health. We use it in a lot of cleaning products, and there's actually a whole line of products like toothpaste, cleaner, laundry detergent, all these things they make with the On Guard in it because not only when you are cleaning these surfaces or brushing your teeth, you're getting the immune support benefits from the oil that's in it. So this is a great oil just to incorporate into your everyday life if you can because it just supports your immune system. I travel a lot for work and so I use this um, all the time when I'm on the road or traveling on the plane. Or on Guard is my immune support blend. I actually have all this written out too, so I know it's a lot of information. I will include that little download or handout um, in the description box below, so kind of look for that. Then we have Digestin. Uh, this one for me, I don't leave the house without it. If you have digestive issues, this is what you want to have on hand all the time. Um, it is like a peppermint, star anise, caraway, um, tarragon ginger blend so all foods me think about these are all foods that are herbs that are really great for your digestive system so now they're all in an oil blend take a drop of this in a veggie cap internally or put it in your glass of water and um, you'll get that soothing effect you could also um, apply it directly to your stomach area um, but to me this is like relief in a bottle and I don't go without it because it, it works so instant because it's in liquid form love digestion also, like the great thing about blends of oils is that if you're looking for something particular, um, like let's say you're on the road and you are feeling a little unbalanced or uneasy and you need that peppermint to help soothe that, but you don't have your peppermint, but let's say you digest then, because peppermint's in it, I would open this bottle up, I would take a big whiff, and this will also help soothe that issue, that motion issue, because it has peppermint inside of it. So kind of think about when you have blends of oils, what's inside of it because sometimes if you're looking for one particularly it might be in a blend when you're on the go then we have breathe the breathe blend is kind of self-explanatory great for respiratory issues to help open up those airways whether it's uh, during you know seasonal threats whether it's um, because you're feeling unwell whether it's because you just need help breathing better this is your go-to I think emotionally too it is very calming because it helps you breathe better like physically but it also just encourages that deep breath to help emotionally so this is breathe I love it I'm in the diffuser obviously I love it in a roller bottle if I'm like not feeling well and I need to like help my sinus area I will roll this breathe on my sinuses underneath my nose um, on my chest just help really open up the airways um, it's great it actually helps people sleep better too if you um, are someone who doesn't sleep well because of a breathing issue I would definitely try breathe topically but in the diffuser on your nightstand bedside because it will really help with that all right we're on the home stretch last two oils on the top 10 and that is uh, frankincense which is the 
frankincense is the king of oils. It actually enhances the um, like effectiveness of all other oils. So we always say when in doubt, frank it out. This oil is great for um, cellular support. Um, it's just awesome for cellular health. Uh, people take it internally almost every day sometimes, like one drop a day, just to support their overall cellular health and energy. And it's great for your uh, brain health as well. To me, it's very grounding, very helps you focus. Um, so I love frankincense for that. It's also great for, again, skin issues. In fact, the trio, this is the trio for skin issues, is um, frankincense, lavender, and tea tree. These three are your go-to for any skin issues. These are the three you wanna apply and use. Um, whether you have all three, that's awesome. If you don't, at least use one of the ones you have because something's better than nothing. And the reason it can be overwhelming sometimes with oils because a lot of them have overlapping properties. But the kind of cool thing about it is, is that not everyone's bodies are the same. Our, all of our chemical makeups are a little different. So oils interact differently with, dif differently with each person's body. Um, so if something doesn't work for you, that works for me, you know, try the next one. See if that one works better for you. Um, there's a lot of options, which is cool because oils work really synergistically with your body. And I just love that. So last one in my top 10 chat is the deep blue blend with which is the soothing blend and I mean physically soothing like um, any muscle discomfort back discomfort uh, any joint discomfort deep blue is you're gonna be your go-to head discomfort deep blue is what I use for all of that it comes in an oil format like this but you can actually get it in a uh, lotion format where they have like a roll-on stick as well so you can just kind of roll that right on so it's awesome for athletes awesome for anyone who maybe just has a really physical job that they need extra muscle support um, to soothe that it has like peppermint blue tansy wintergreen ylang ylang helichrysum osmanthus and german chamomile i mean these are all really powerful oils for just supporting uh discomfort so Deep Blue is awesome, I love it. And that is my top 10 favorite oils. I just wanted to share that with you. Again, I have the handout below um, linked so you can just kind of read over it if this was a lot of information all at once because I know it was. Um, but I just love oils. They've made my li like changed my life in the sense that I love having natural solutions right here with me all the time they're so it's just empowering to be able to take care of yourself like in the moment and not have to like rely on someone else or something else i mean obviously like i'm a big believer in both like you know modern medicine and natural medicine and so i think they both can be very synergistic and work together because obviously modern medicine is very important depending on the situation and what's going on and so, you know, it's more about trying the natural route first if it is applicable and works. And then obviously if you need like more medical attention, like by all means, you know, go see your doctor or your health professional because obviously they're very trained to know what they're doing and modern medicine is a blessing as well. But I just love going the natural route first if it works for you. And for me, I use them a lot for like physical issues, but I love them for emotional well-being as well. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little chat with me. Thank you for joining me today um, outside in the summer sun, getting that vitamin D, and I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. I look forward to kind of expanding on oils, but like just taking you through like my health, like taking you through health things, taking you through, um, you know, living in the mountains or near the mountains, and um, I don't know, just sharing all the things that bring joy to my life and hopes they bring joy to your life um so i don't know we'll see how this channel develops in this journey but thanks for joining me and i will see you in the next video bye